Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to Residual Royalty Academy. This is a channel where I show you how to go from nothing to at least $1,000, maybe two, three, four, five, ten thousand $10,000 a month in royalties by publishing low and no content books, as well as other kinds of books as well that we teach inside the Low Content Elite Society. And um, this is going to be a pretty cool video because I've not seen anybody talking about this and um, I just wanted to open your eyes to a possible opportunity on Amazon.nl, that's Netherlands. So as we all know, the Netherlands is a fantastic country and um, you got a lot of cool things there. You got the canals, you got the tulip fields, you got the windmills, you got the drugs for those of you guys who like the drugs. And you've also got the cool flag right here, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is go and look on Amazon.nl in a minute and see if there's any possible opportunities. So we're gonna look at the best selling books and see if there's a chance for us to make some money. So what you will notice is that there's a lot of German books on there. You'll know that because it says like Deutsch edition or something like that. Um, but that is not the same language. Dutch is different to Deutsch. Um, so it seems like there's a lot of niches that can be filled in, especially for things like activity books and coloring books and things what people have probably already published in other countries, but that could just be adapted a little bit into this marketplace specifically, which was not previously possible because I think this NL marketplace has only been on KDP for a few months. So I am a few months late with this announcement uh, or this uh, this message from the stars, but um, yeah, I think it's still very timely and there's still barely any competition on Amazon.nl. So what I think you should do is go on BookBeam or go on Amazon ES or Italy or Germany or Spain yourself um, and you'll see there's a lot of activity books, a lot of coloring, drawing, tracing, all these kind of things. They're all selling extremely well and we're actually going to look at some of those in my next video, which is gonna be six different Spanish niches. Um, and they sell really well, they're making a lot of money, a lot of euros every single month. Um, but on Amazon.nl, it's like nobody has even taken notice and nobody's bothered because they've assumed it's a really small marketplace. But the Netherlands actually has 19 million people. I'm not sure exactly how many of them use Amazon, but the number's only gonna be increasing as Amazon asserts its dominance over the world. So what I'd be doing is hiring translators on Upwork getting some left tracing books or coloring books or similar things made into Dutch. So what we're gonna do is jump right out of here and we're gonna go and look on amazon.nl as you can see right here. And as soon as you see a unicorn, you, you just know, you just know this book's printing money, right? Anytime you see a unicorn, the book is always just doing crazy well for some reason. So as you can see here, this one is ranked 4,865 on amazon.nl. I don't think the BookBeam extension works yet on this uh, on this Amazon NL. I tried to use a niche finder, but um, it's not actually on BookBeam yet for this country or for this marketplace. So you just have to kind of go rogue. So you can see here from May the 1st, it's definitely sold here, then it didn't sell for a while, then it sold again, and then it sold again here. So it's not selling all too much, even with a rank of 4,000, but that just means it's actually probably really easy to get a book in the top 1,000 in this country. So what we might do as well is maybe click this author name, see if they've got any other books that are doing any well at all. So what's this cat coloring book? This is an English edition, ranked 6,597. Uh, obviously this is a Dutch edition, so this doesn't say Dutch edition. Um, and you can see here we've got another English edition, another English edition, uh, English edition. So you can see there's not many Dutch, uh, Dutch books themselves. So this definitely leaves an opportunity if you're gonna get something translated. But let's go back onto here. Kinder, that's obviously children's books. Let's go on activity books and let's see what we've got in this one. So puzzle book, Pikachu. Obviously you can't make Pikachu book. Um, color by number, that's definitely a good potential one. Let's click on here, see the rank. This one's ranked 3,265. Um, let's go back on this one. Let's go on the top 100 charts. And let's see what is doing the best out of all these. So let's try and figure out which is German, which is Dutch, which is English. And it's probably honestly gonna be a mix of all of these things. So obviously this is just pure English, but I think a lot of people in the Netherlands, they speak English anyway. So some of them are happy to buy English books, but I would guess some of them actually would prefer to have some, some Dutch ones as well. So like you can see here, this is a sticker book, uh, definitely a possible idea. And let's try and find some more Dutch ones to see what's going on. Um, another sticker book. Uh, unicorns, like I say, unicorns are always doing well. No matter what, you always see unicorns just doing insanely well. Let's go on to the next page because we're in the top 100 right here. So book about space, is that English as well? Yeah, that's English. So 
the popular. Um, I think this is maybe wish, wish list. So let's go off this one now. Let's go back onto uh, see what this means. Ondo weeks. Not sure exactly what it means, but let's see. I mean, the point of this video isn't exactly to find you the best niche right away. It's just to kind of give you the idea that you can actually come and publish a book like this. So is this Lingo Mastery? Yeah, these guys are everywhere. These guys are always printing money. So this one's 11,000 in books. And this is for learning Dutch for, I guess, for foreign people. So let's see this one. You can see this one um, selling quite a bit. Every time it drops here, that's obviously a sale. Every time it drops here, it's obviously a sale. Um... So yeah, this is going pretty well. Uh, Lingo Mastery, 2000 most common words in Dutch. Ollie Richards, I've actually bought a book from this guy before. Uh, let's go back onto here and let's actually just see some Netherlands only books. So mm, science fiction, hobbies, could be one. Let's go on hobbies. Okay, interesting. Something about puzzles. Something about something. Smurfs. Cookbook. So yeah, I mean, I don't want to drag this video on too long. The point of it is not exactly to find you the best niche straight away. It's just to kind of demonstrate that there is opportunity here. Because, uh, like it's going to say on... Uh, like it's going to say on here. If you actually look at the Spanish, the Italy and the Germany ones. And those marketplaces. The books there are getting insane amounts of sales. So there's no reason why in the future the Netherlands one shouldn't be the same. Because I personally ignored the other marketplaces for quite a while when it came to low content books, just thinking, oh, nobody's going to want like an Italian coloring book. But if you actually go and look, it turns out people really do. Um, so just consider Netherlands as well. It wouldn't honestly be so hard to create these books. All you need to do is hire somebody on Upwork. Maybe you've got a friend who's Dutch. Get some letter tracing books or coloring books or something similar made and published and yeah just see what happens really and uh, just put it out there and see if it sells and yeah this slide just re-emphasizes what i've already said i used to think that there's probably not enough demand on the other marketplaces like italy spain etc um so i used to just ignore them but if you actually go and look at that those books make a lot of money now so don't ignore this marketplace and as always thank you for watching and subscribing if you've enjoyed this video and you prefer this type of content with presentation slides you think it's a bit more formal then let me know in the comments and of course, as always, if you want to take your publishing business to the next level, you want to join the Low Content Elite Society. There's over 60 of us in the society now. We've got many different ways to produce books that you've never seen before, such as the Wellman Method, which is using influencers to create books for you. It's pretty complex, but it's definitely worth knowing. And you've got the royalty split approach, which is a better way to publish high content books, which I've used myself multiple times. You've got children's storybooks, so much more that is going to help you get to your 10K per month and above royalty goal. So thank you for watching and of course I will see you in the next video.